Okay, guys, in this video, I will discuss about the earthquake on any structure. Okay, so let's understand it. And before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so let's start. So, at the very first, what happens during any earthquake? Simply, during any earthquake, the ground moves. Okay, and the ground can move normally in four ways first is the ground first compressed then get tensioned right and this is known as back and forth effect right so this is the lateral movement mark it this is the lateral movement second is the ground can move ups and downs we are not interested about this okay and third one is the ground can again move laterally but in this case it moves from side to side and also we are interested about this one also okay because this is also a lateral form and the final one is it can simply roll like a ocean wave okay now why we are interested about these two cases simply this is the form of wave which produce lateral load on any structure and that is our main interest okay now how this back and forth effect and the side to side effect of earthquake wave affect any structure so here you can see consider this particular tall building this is the case before earthquake the ground is in rest and as a result you can see that the whole structure is aligned vertically compared to the ground but once the ground start to accelerate here you can see that ground accelerate horizontally during the earthquake so what will happen the ground start to accelerate horizontally and the lower part of the building simultaneously accelerate along with the ground because this is attached with the ground but the top part of this building is far away from this ground as a result there is a drift okay this is this difference of lateral movement is known as lateral drift and you know that if you consider any uh, column or beam that is fixed okay but the one end is deflected what will happen there is a moment caused due to this deflection right i think you know the a value of this moment that is 6 ei delta by l square something like that right so due to this drift caused by this ground acceleration the vertical member as well as the horizontal member of the building as here you can see is subjected to extra stress due to this differential drift okay or you can say that this vertical member or this particular column is subjected to extra moment caused due to this ground acceleration okay so we are interested about earthquake load because it caused the drift within the structure due to its ground acceleration okay and due to this differential movement from top to bottom there is a extra stress within the member right so this is the main effect of earthquake on any structure so here you can see due to this ground acceleration nothing but a lateral load is being generated okay so ground is moving from this side to this side but above the ground we can say that a lateral load is being applied from this side to this side all right now what is the magnitude of this lateral load simply the load or the force is nothing but the mass time acceleration newton's law right simply from newton's law the force that is being applied is equals with mass on which the force is being applied times the acceleration okay so now you can see that as the ground moves okay the acceleration is same for every point 
right but the mass if we consider the mass of this particular point this is nothing but the weight of this zone but the mass of this point is simply the weight of all the floors above it as a result you can see that at the roof level the lateral load due to the seismic is least but at the base level or at the first floor or the ground level it is maximum because at this point the mass is the sum or the total weight of the whole building total weight of the building right so in this way you can calculate the seismic load that is being applied at different point of your structure okay and to find out the acceleration you can take the help of your regional code of course right so now what is the solution we have already discussed how the seismic or the earthquake affect our structure how to calculate the load or why the load varies right now what is the solution simply here you can see that every problem is being created from this ground right so ground is the source of all problem so the very first solution is simply separate the structure from the ground now you can ask me how is it possible normally we build each and every structure over the ground well that's very correct but if we install any particular tools like this elastomeric bearing what will happen once the ground start to move okay this elastomeric bearing will deflect like this and the structure will remain in its own shape and there will be no such lateral force now if you have any confusion about how under the lateral load elastomeric behave like this i have already made video on this elastomeric bearing topic okay you can go to the playlist you can watch it also right so in real life this is the building basement and here you can see we have installed this huge elastomeric bearing okay so once the ground start to accelerate during earthquake what will happen simply this elastomeric bearing will deflect first like this okay and the top of this structure will be unaffected okay so this is a great idea but this is also uh, very much complex as well as not that much economical for a smaller structure okay let's say you have a simple steel pipe rack so of course there you are not going to install this type of expensive wearing at the basement so in that case what is the solution simply if you have lateral load like this like this due to this seismic load what you have to do you have to transfer this lateral load through this bracing right to the foundation and your purpose is solved so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it